Hi everybody, I'm Andrea Ali and in today's video I'm going to do a very simple makeup for whenever you have to do things throughout the day. It's a running errands kind of a makeup. And that is because it's that time of the year when a lot of you have stuff to buy for uh, Christmas. For example, today I'm going to go look for a vanity that it's going to be behind me. Like I have stuff to do. So I am basically wearing a pair of leggings. I have this hoodie on me. And I got inspired by, you know, this situation. I was thinking, okay, how about if I do a quick makeup, something that I like to do whenever I have to run out of the house uh, and Alex is like after me, are you done? So this is the kind of look that you're gonna see today. This is the final result. It took me about 12, 15 minutes to do this, but I kind of took my time. I didn't like really rush. Plus I was talking while I was filming. So it takes a little bit longer, but it should not take you more than a few minutes to do this kind of look. There are new products in this video. I am going to stop talking. Before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the ring bell button so you'll get notified whenever I post. Now, if you'd like to see how I did this very quick running errands, busy day kind of a makeup, then please keep on watching. Okay, my hair is in something like this. I have workout clothes on me. I look like I'm, uh, you know, in LA. Only in LA people are like running errands and <laughs> in workout clothes. Not that much in here, but I really wish they would. My skin is super dry. I'm going to moisturize with this Augustine Bader. This is the cream. They have another option, the rich cream, which is much uh, richer than this. I don't know how you pronounce this. Augustinus, Augustine. Anyway, I love this. I've already moisturized after I took my shower and everything, but my skin is super, super dry. Now guys, it's super important on what your insecurity is when it comes to makeup. Like for example, I don't like the way my skin looks. So the most important thing when I do my own makeup is to have like a beautiful skin. I don't care much about the eyes, I don't care much about the brows or lips. For me, it's the skin. Think about what your insecurity is or what your main focus is. Let's just put it that way. I don't like the word insecurity. And then try to focus on that so that, you know, you feel good about yourself the whole day. Like I said, I'm going to spend a little bit more time on doing my skin. I'll use this. I don't think you've ever seen me using this on my channel. Um, I'm going to use this Westman Atelier. This is a foundation stick, super nice. I think it's available only in 10 colors, but very good range. I use the color five because my neck is a little bit darker. And I love to use this because they're super easy and fast. See, like, bum bum. <laughs> Done. Now I'll take this Morphe G40 brush and buff it in. You have to have your skin super well moisturized when using this. I was using this uh, when I was in LA and my skin was super dry and I didn't really like it to be honest but then but then I was trying it while I was in France and I really enjoyed it on the first layer that you apply it doesn't have big coverage but enough to give that uniform look to the skin can you get me super 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 close like uncomfortably close cuz yeah Look, I don't know why I did that. Uh, <laughs> you can still see like some veins right here. It's not perfect, but it's a out the door kind of a makeup. Next is concealer. I'll use the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. If you apply just a little bit in the right place, then you know what? You will not need a lot of time to blend. So. Morphe M335 brush. What's left on my brush? I apply it on the mobile lid. 
bam, done. I'm applying blush because for me it's super super important to have blush. I feel naked without it. I'm going to use again this Atelier Westman. Um, this color is in something like Puppet or... Yeah, Puppet. I'll apply it right here, like a puppet. Then I just use a round brush to kind of blend this away. Why do I use a cream blush? It's for me, it looks so much more natural and I can blend it away pretty fast. If you are better with powder blush, then go ahead and use that. What's left on my brush, I apply it on the mobile lids, Swipe on the nose, done. You want this makeup to last, right? So you have to powder it. Of course, I'll use the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. Make sure the product did not crease in here. It's, it's going to emphasize your wrinkles if you, if you leave that uh, concealer in between your wrinkles and then you come with a powder, don't do that. So I set the center of the face under eyes and center of the face because that's where my skin gets oily throughout the day around my mouth you have a lot of movement around the mouth next step is bronzer this is my go-to this Chanel Le Beige this is in medium deep the reason why I love this because of the color because it has a very soft shimmer in it so when I use this I actually don't use a highlighter anymore you'll see I'm using this big fluffy it cosmetics for Ulta airbrush powder brush I bought this from Ulta when I was in LA now with this big brush I just kind of apply the powder around the center of my face just gonna give me that you see it has like a shimmer but very very soft makes me look uh, healthy on those eyelids and that's it you know skin looks nice fresh it has like a sheen I'm super happy now I'm going to do my eyebrows really quick I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow wiz I don't know why like every single one of my brow wiz is missing the brush I don't know this takes me literally 20 seconds done now I need a brush cuz yeah gotta make them look nice and natural what I can't live without is the clear brow gel like it doesn't matter how much time I have for me it's super important to use this because my eyebrows go down so with this uh, gel, it helps them, you know, keep them like that. For me, when it comes to eye makeup, the way I normally do it is maybe apply a little bit of mascara at this stage, lip balm, and I'm off the door. However, I find these Elis Fass cream eyeshadows, that's how they look like. Love the packaging. These are so easy to use so easy to use I want to use some color that's like a neutral color for the eyelids I'll apply it like that then I will just take a blending brush big one and blend and that's gonna give you depth That's like a little color, you see? It looks good if I apply it on my lower lashes for my eye shape. Optional, you can curl your lashes. But since I'm not doing anything else on my eyes other than mascara, this is going to look very good on me. But this is the third time. <laughs> now, mascara, mascara, NARS Climax. The reason why I like this, because it's super black, makes my lashes look long and full. And another really good reason that you should absolutely check this out is that throughout the day, you don't find like these tiny little 
um, particles of mascara that you usually get right here. It does not happen to me with this one. For my lips, I'm going to use like a super natural color lipstick. It's more like a tinted balm. Uh, and this is a limited edition from Rodine. Yeah, this is how it looks like. Rodine makes amazing classic lipsticks. I'll use this color right here. It looks uh, pigmented, but it's not really. You'll see in a second, like, check this out. <gasps> ah! So you see, it's almost like a tinted balm. It gives you like a little bit of color, but not much. I'm going to zoom out so you can see all of me. I'm gonna finish everything by applying this Hyaluronic Acid Facial Spray from Baby, 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 BB, Baby. It's called Mega Mix. It's 100% natural, certified, vegan, and cruelty free. It's going to give that very dewy finish to the skin. Alright guys, this is my final look for a day when you have stuff to do, when you have to run errands. Happy shopping! I know that a lot of you are shopping on the last minute, like I do. If you enjoyed this look, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below what is the part of your face or where is that specific thing that you absolutely you have to do when it comes to makeup like every day is it lips is it eyes is it your skin like i would like to know please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and click on that ring bell button so you'll be notified whenever i'm posting a new video you can also follow me on instagram thank you so much for watching i have to go i have things to shop <laughs> see you in my next video bye Alex, <clears throat> leave my mascara down. You don't need it. <laughs> <sighs>